What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Insolent Audits. Let's get straight into it. Here's why women regret divorce more than men. Financially speaking, women's lives get worse after the divorce, Duh. while men's get better. Love. The standard of living for women goes down an average of 27%, while the standard of living for men goes up 10 percent so you can see why women may feel that their lives get worse after divorce of because course. hey chat let me know are y'all in the redheads <laughs> never really been my bag baby but to each his own as their standards of living go down while their ex-husband's standard of living goes up show of hands for everybody who knew bingo <laughs> all right let me get this straight Kareem's regret but, i mean this is this is kind of a dead giveaway like we knew that men's lives got better after a divorce we don't have to pay for all the extraneous things that we typically pay for, hair, nails, all this, et cetera, stuff. Like, think about how much money you would probably save if you're just having to spend money on yourself. Us as men, we're very simple creatures. We don't need a lot of stuff. Chat, let me know, let me know, like, the top three things that you would need to live a happy life. For me, it's like food, shelter, and like a form of entertainment. And that's really all I need. Like, I don't need clothes. I don't need... You know, I don't need an animal to feel good about myself. I don't need, you know, a bunch of friends around me to feel validated. I don't need bottles of wine. Like, honestly, stick me in a room with AC, give me some good food and an Xbox, and bro, I'm up one. I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm, I'll be up one at that point. But let me know. Let me know. What are the top three things, chat, you would need to just be healthy, be happy, healthy by yourself? Maybe sprinkle in some gym time, you know? But we're, we're easy to please. I'm divorced. The audacity. Ex-wife thought she would be happier after filing for divorce. Shocker. Uh, because she, she was expected a huge amount of child support and alimony, which is totally backfired. I'll give you something huge that'll backfire. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd be happier. Well, because you were going to get somebody else's money? Except. You ain't got the bag. You got to work. Let's hear it. The judge set the child support amount. Let's hear it. At three hundred and twenty-six dollars. My man won that one. Good on him. Oh, hey, but go take care of your kids. Don't be a deadbeat. A month. Three hundred and twenty-six dollars a month for two kids for child support is what he has to pay me. Three hundred and twenty-six dollars. Uh, that ain't much. A month. Because he's not working. What? Ain't you got a job though? Because he chooses not to. I was able to cross-examine him, which was fun. And I asked him how many hours a week he spends working or trying to sell houses because technically he still has a real estate license. So technically he's still a realtor. Bro, I'm going to give it a bug. Being a realtor is tough. Very, very competitive, a very hard market to tap into. That's why you see mainly it being older women. He said 15 hours a week approximately. 15 hours a week. How many hours he works per week? Grown man. Grown, able bodied man with transportation and no child care to worry about. Says he works 15 hours a week. Right, that ain't enough. Come on now, dog. That ain't enough. Come on, man. I work 15 right. hours in two days. Like, come on, dude. You, you got to work more than that. Right, all right there, Colleen. Number one, you decided to marry the guy. Nobody put a gun to you. I mean, that's true. Lady, you decided to marry this man. This was, this was your decision. You said, you know what? He's the most suitable guy for me. And I'm going to let him blow his cheese inside of me. <laughs> and I'm going to poop out two kids for him. <laughs> but you want us to feel bad? That you got with a bum? This is what I'm saying always. It's with these women, the common denominator is you. You're not happy with the results of your life. You're not happy where you're at right now. You've got to look at the equation of how you got there. More than likely, your decisions and you were a big part of that equation. So if you're not happy where you're at, go look in the mirror because life is a mirror, not a window. Where you are right now is a culmination of all the decisions you've made up until this point. If you're not happy with where you're at, you should go back and reevaluate all the decisions you've made to get where you are right now. You're not happy with the job that you have. Did somebody put a gun to your head to go apply there? This is, dude, this is what I don't get. Like, 
you guys have been on a flight before. I'm sure everybody here has flown before. But you know when you go chat to an airport and then the TSA people are there and they are just so rude. I just can't fathom. I know the modern dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt physically. Have you ever been the victim of a personal injury case? Every year as an image consultant, I meet so many different types of clients. And a lot of them are recovering from injuries or accidents, ranging from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was extremely surprised to see how many people lost their personal injury cases, which is why I'm here to talk about Morgan and Morgan. America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they have won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they will fight for the money you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is it's all free unless you win your case. If you have also been a victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi. Found in the description below where you can start your free claim today. Waking up one day, going to apply for a job, going to the interview, getting the job, and then showing up to work and just being miserable every single day. I'm like, why do you even work here? Stop working here. Go get another job. I, I, I just could not imagine it. Even like now jobs suck. I'm going to give it that. But at least if you go and you try to have a good time, the time will pass a, whole, a lot faster. Like time flies when you're having fun. But when you're miserable, seconds feel like hours. Woman regrets, uh, regrets asking for divorce after husband hands her the divorce papers. Let's see. The court notified. The court notified me that my final decree of divorce has been approved by the judge. I know that it sucks being alone. I come home and I'm alone. I go everywhere alone. But that's I what you wanted! Shots fired! I don't get this. This is what you wanted. Hardly talk to him anymore. Uh, duh. <laughs> I don't talk to none of my exes either. I don't blame him. I filed for the divorce. So I'm sure people are wondering, well, what? you filed. Why are you so upset? Why are you crying? Stupid. Stupid. Just because you make a decision that you think is going to end up making things better. Doesn't mean that you have to give up the fact that you love that person or that you did it because you were trying or whatever. Dude, this is why I say women are children. You can't make this stuff up. Imagine seeing a man being like, yeah, I broke up with my girl, but I'm just devastated. I can't believe I broke up with her. You broke up with her. You made the decision. Now you have to live up to the consequences of your own actions. What are you even talking about? It's a grown woman. This is why I say women want the equality of men. They want the responsibility of children, and they want the privilege of being a woman. This, you can't make this stuff up. Like, the stories write themselves. I've never met anybody like him. And I've never loved anybody like him either. Would you divorce him? But I don't want a divorce. But you filed for divorce. Are you stupid? Stupid. Oh my. This is a grown. This is somebody's mama. Single mom. I still am very much in love with my husband. So why'd you come? <laughs> for my female viewers, I have to ask. Please, in the comments, explain to me how women will justify this. Yeah, like, how, how does this make sense? What is the mental gymnastics that women go through? Chat, let me know what you think. What is the mental gymnastics that these women go through to justify breaking up with a man willingly and then being mad that they're broken up? Like, huh? What does that make sense? That's like... That's like taking a bite out of a sandwich that's made out of poop and then being sad that it tastes like poop. It's like, well, you knew it tasted like poop, but you still, like, maybe that was a bad analogy. <laughs> I'm stupid. Stupid. <laughs> but I don't get it. Like, if I'm happy and doing it, oh, here, here's maybe a better analogy. I'm playing Xbox. I'm super happy. I don't know why I keep going back to video games. Probably because I'm playing uh, Far Cry 6 right now. Um, just beat Dead Island 2. Super fun game. Either way. It's like playing Xbox and smashing your Xbox and being like, I'm so sad I smashed my Xbox. How could I do this to myself? Well, you did it. You smashed it for a reason. Like, what are you talking about? The, the, I just can't understand the mental fortitude that it takes to justify actions that are this silly. 
it, it just makes no sense to me. I don't get it. Like, I wish I could understand it. Like, we should, we, these women's brains should be studied at, at, in research labs. You know what I mean? Like, what is this? We were young. I got a divorce. And I was actually chatting with a girlfriend about... She must be a who. Shots fired! She needs to have a, a real stern conversation with her plastic surgeon. Because that knows? <laughs> Yikes. You can just tell it's been worked on. The experience last night and my regrets of not being able to give my girls that stable, perfect family life that everybody dreams about. And there were a lot of things I did wrong. But one of the things I did right was I... I love it. I, I, it's all, it always comes with a butt, gents. It always comes with a butt. And there were a lot of things I did wrong. But... But one of the things I did right was I, I manned up and I got my shit together and I worked my tail off. Congratulations, you were an adult. Congratulations, honey. Because if a man did that, is anybody clapping for him? No! Stupid! Come on now. I dedicated my life to those girls. As you should. And move them from country to country until we found our stability. What do you mean, stability? You found another man to piggyback off of? Is that what you meant? Because now you're a single mom? Single mom! We spent a lot of time with my friends both male and female, people that I trusted, people that I wanted them to look up to. And most of them are still in their lives today. While I know they probably felt pain and maybe still do feel pain over their parents no longer being together, I hope that those dance parties in the living room, Stupid. the walks to school, the solo trips together, Stupid. the opening gifts on their birthday, specially picked out for them by well, mom. Really does think she's living in a Disney movie. <laughs> Dancing in the rain, doing cartwheels in the living room. <laughs> this is so dumb. No, what they're gonna remember is that mommy's alone. And you moved us around a lot until you could find another man to afford your lifestyle. That's what your kids are gonna remember. They're gonna remember mommy got a divorce from daddy, who I miss terribly. That's what they're gonna remember. Not dancing in the living room. Good lord. Um, them watching me work and be independent and struggle and do all the things that moms need to do in order to survive. No, no, no. Good mothers and good wives actually usually typically stay with the husbands they pooped babies out for. How you gonna give them a man the highest honor? You're gonna have two kids straight out your vaginal cavity and not stay with this man. What are you talking about? I hope all of those experiences far outweigh any pain that they may have felt. So to all those single moms out there, remember that your strength and your tenacity will far outweigh any pain that may linger in regards to your failed relationship. You've totally got this. I love it, dude. Misery loves company, bro. It absolutely <laughs> adores it. You're gonna be okay, it's gonna be fine. You'll find another pen to hop on, to piggyback off of, and take care of your children that aren't his. You will, you will find a simp. This is why we have to end the simpidemic. We have to end the simpidemic. Get away from it. Stop simping on these single moms. Now, it is a little bit better if she's had two kids with one man, but when they got three and two and four kids by four different men, bro, you made bad decisions, and I'm not here to be a hero, baby. I can be your hero, baby. You might have had the right idea, but the wrong one. Shubha Nanaya should have bought a Honda. Do you hear me in the back? It's just what's so funny to me is these ladies get so much older, and they really do believe that men like us owe them something. Men that are hardworking adults. And the thing is, what's funny to me is all the things she just explained is like basic adulting. Oh great, you have a job. Oh great, you paid for things. Fantastic. That's what everybody on this freaking planet does. They work to provide either for themselves or for a family or for a collective. Like you're doing the bare necessities. What is that? The bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. <laughs> you're doing the basic stuff. Good job. You got your kids up for school in the morning. Everybody does that, rich or poor. So it's really hard to, to feel like she's doing something commendable. But what's so funny to me also is that these ladies always want to give advice to other single women. Like they're just going to enlighten them. And they're going to be like, a whole new world. I need to leave my man in struggle. 
what is this? You don't see guys getting online and be like, you know what? You should be a concrete layer. You should go out there and bust your butt working blue collar and work on the highways. You should do that, guys. Guys, go out there and do that. It's hard, but you'll love it. It's rewarding, but you'll love it. Us guys know that. Doing stuff that's hard is not fun. I feel guilty for wanting a divorce because he's a good guy. The one initiating divorce, but you feel guilty as hell because he's a good guy. There isn't. Goodness gracious, looking like a raisin being left out in the sun too long. Shots fired! Goodness gracious, honey. Any big reason he didn't cheat on you, he didn't steal from you, he's not beating you, he's a good guy, and you feel like shit because you know you need to divorce, you know you're not happy, and it's the right thing. But, yeah. But you're a runner. She's a runner, she's a track star. It's keeping you from actually pulling the trigger because you feel so guilty. I want to talk about this again. I talk about this a lot and I just feel as though I need to keep reinforcing this message because I know that you need to hear this. Yes. And please enlighten us. Chat, are you ready? <laughs> I know I am. You are not doing anything wrong. Right. By no accountability. That's the best way to start. You're not doing anything wrong. Everything you're doing is right. Go you girl power asking for a divorce. You are not doing anything wrong by saying my happiness lies in a different path. But what you are doing is you are doing the Stupid. right thing. You know, Brene Brown says clear is kind. And if you stay because you feel guilty, you are not being clear and you are not being kind. Not only are you robbing yourself of a chance at happiness, but you're robbing him at his chance for happiness too. What the hell you say? Bam, I swear that there are women out there. Bro, that makes no sense. You're doing nothing wrong. Everything you're doing is great. Trust me, Brianne Brown said that as an older woman that's been ran, that you should, you know, know your worth and no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Ah! So ladies, as you get older, know that your value goes down. It goes down drastically, ladies. It doesn't go up. It goes the absolute opposite way. But the thing is, is if women were more real with each other and they actually checked that behavior, life would be much better. That's why when you hear women talk to other women, like the next time you're out and about, just eavesdrop on two ladies talking to each other. They don't keep it real with each other, bro. Nothing about it is actually honest. It's all like fake. Girl, you look great, and you look around, it's a big bag. Big bag, big bag. Girl, you look great. Honey, you look like you just ate. <laughs> That's what you look like. But see, us as men, like, we will keep each other in check. We, we regulate ourselves. Like, the community of men, we regulate. Oh, you're doing something wrong? You're going to get called out by another man for doing something wrong. But women, they don't do that. They don't check each other. And the thing is, is if women want to see change, they have to change themselves first. Accountability is a big one, but as we all know, they're allergic to that one. It's like pollen in the air. They're just like, accountability? I can't, I can't do this accountability stuff. But if women started holding other women accountable, then they would just fall in line because men already do this. We self-regulate. It's just how it is. But it's sad. It truly is. Even women at this age. That's why I say women grow old. They never grow up. Staying, even though you want to leave, you are misleading him and you're keeping him from finding the happy healthy relationship that he deserves as well well so he don't, probably was happy healthy and loving with you but you want something toxic don't kid yourself that by staying you're doing the kind thing because you're in your heart you're not there you're not committed anymore you're not in love anymore it's time for you to go so number one you're not doing anything wrong so that the guilt you're feeling is actually not guilt okay because it's guilt means guilt. you're a good person actually you left your husband, you gave him a ton of years, and he's probably provided for you, helped you out, and helped you get to where you are. You deserve half of his stuff. Don't feel like a bad person. Come on. Doing something wrong. But you're not doing something wrong. And therefore, it's not guilt you're feeling. It's the discomfort of making a choice that you know is going to be hard for somebody else, and it's the choice that he doesn't want. Bro, this is somebody's mama. This is somebody's mama. Logic has left the chat. <laughs> God. It's the discomfort of making a choice that is in alignment with your truth and with your values and what you know is right Stupid. for you. You're uncomfortable about that because you know that it's going to be hard for him. Okay? So 
reframe it from guilt to discomfort. That's going to help there you, you get go. out you of that. Reframe it. You can't deal with the reality of it. It's not guilt. It's just, I'm just a little uncomfortable is all. I just, you know, it's not that I'm unhappy. It's just I'm, I'm disengaged. <laughs> they always have to move the goalpost, change the words. Trap. And number two, remind yourself that clear is kind. And when you are clear with yourself and you're clear with him, that is the kindest thing to do. Doesn't mean it's easy, but it is the kindest thing you can do. All right, for those of you... These women be reading these Hallmark quotes and be thinking they're holy script. (laughs) Like she she heard that clear is kind and that might as well have been one of the Ten Commandments. She's like, clear is kind. That's real. Now that's real love. That's what it should be. This is why I say these women should just stop reading. Stop reading these Hallmark movies. Get off a Lifetime. Go to the gym. Go for a walk. Go touch some grass. And then stop hanging out with other single women. And social media is a big part of it. So I was on IG Live the other day. So I'm doing. I'm going to try to start doing these like once a week. I get on Instagram Live and I debate people on a topic. And the topic this past week was only men date for love. We were talking about that. And I absolutely forgot where I was going with that. I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I absolutely forgot where I was going with that. What were we doing? Uh, I absolutely forgot. Anyways, I do those on IG Live probably once a week. I might start doing them on Sunday, but I'll just have people come in. We'll talk about a topic, kind of, kind of like what Kevin Samuels used to do. Uh, God, what was I talking about? Oh, how these women move the goalpost and they surround themselves with yes women. I don't know. I can't remember what I was going to say, but either way, it was good to have you guys out. Loki, are you tired, bro? He's over there, schnookered. Once again, appreciate you guys being in the Discord and being so active in the Discord. I really do appreciate that. Make sure to join the Discord if you haven't already. Um, Also, instead of putting suggestions in the Discord, I want you guys putting them in the Reddit thread. The Reddit is going to be reddit.com slash r slash Levi Nix. I believe that's it. Um, let's just go let's see if I can't show you guys. The link will be in the description. The reason we're moving it over to the Reddit is because you can just post a link directly and it'll play natively within this. The thing is with Discord, dude, I hop in the Discord. It's really hard to like get videos to play. Sometimes Instagram videos do play. Sometimes they don't play. So, but I appreciate you guys being very active. Um, in the in the discord so it means a lot to me i've got an interview with uh, jake Ra- jake from rattlesnake tv dropping uh next monday super cool guy um he's a geopolitical streamer he's been on the whatever podcast he's been you know he's a, a, a pretty big podcaster i think he has like six hundred fifty thousand subs so i'll drop that next week but i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode loki did you have a good time bro he just looks tired today i don't know what it is i need to get on what he's on because I'm, I'm i'm like i'm like wired today i think it's because i had a, a big ass americano um but yeah chat hope you guys enjoyed today's episode don't forget to cop the ebook the four pillars of personality makes you irresistible to women and respected by men but i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode don't forget to like comment subscribe i will see you guys tomorrow man peace 